In this video, I'm going to show you how to work a simple fan edging. The fan will be worked in half stitch with a cloth stitch and twist edge. The spider will be worked in cloth stitch and the ground will be worked half stitch, pin half stitch. I'm not going to start at the corner because that looks more obvious when you finish in your piece. Instead, I'm going to start two repeats down. I've put a pin in the top pinhole of the third fan down and I'm going to hang two pairs of bobbins open like a rainbow so they sit like a rainbow around the pin. Then I'm going to twist the left hand pair twice and this connects the two pairs together to make a single loop at the top. This will make it easier when we come to sew in at the end. Then I'm going to take the right hand pair as the worker and I'm going to work it to the left in cloth stitch and twist through the left hand pair, which will be our edge pair. Cross, twist, cross, twist. I'm going to add an extra twist to the worker and I'm going to pin between the two pairs in the first pinhole on the left hand side. When I work this fan, I'm following the line on the pattern. My worker is following that line. Before I work back, I'm going to place a pin above the next pinhole I need to work, which is this one. I'm going to hang a pair of passives on that pin. This is a temporary pin and will come out after we've worked a row or two. I'm going to go back and pick up my worker and I'm going to work cloth stitch and twist through the first pair. So cross, twist, cross, twist. And then I'm going to work half stitch through this passive, which is cross twist. I'm at the end of the row, so I'm going to put an extra twist on my worker and place a pin under it in the next available pinhole for my fan. Then I'm going to work, bring the worker back to the outside of the fan edging. So half stitch through the first pair, then when I get to the last pair, I'm going to work cloth stitch and twist, cross, twist, cross, twist. An extra twist on my worker and pin underneath it in the next pin. I'm going to tension up and then I'm going to take this temporary pin out and tension the pair down. I'm going to place that pin in the next pin hole down and hang another pair of passives ready to come into the fan. Returning to my left hand side I'm going to pick up my worker and I'm going to work cloth stitch and twist through the first pair of passives which is the edge pair so cross twist cross twist then I'm going to work half stitch through the next two pairs cross twist cross twist I'm going to put an extra twist on my worker and pin in the next pinhole. Now I'm going to work back out to the outside edge again as before. So half stitch through the first two pairs, cross, twist, cross, twist, and cloth stitch and twist through the remaining pair. Cross, twist, cross, twist. An extra pair on the worker extra twist on the worker and pin. Tension up and remove that temporary pin and move it down. Once again another new pair on the temporary pin. Then I'm going to go to the left and pick up my worker again. Cross stitch and twist through the first pair so cross twist, cross, twist, half stitch through the next three, cross, twist, next pair, cross, twist, next pair, cross, twist. An extra twist on my worker, pin up. Then I'm going to bring the worker back to the outside edge, so half stitch through the first three pairs, cross, twist, cross twist, cross twist, 
and cross stitch and twist through the final pair. Cross, twist, cross, twist, twist my worker and pin. Tension up. Remove the temporary pin and replace in the next pin hole down. Again, another new pair of passives on the temporary pin. We'll go back to the left and pick up my worker and work cross stitch and twist, cross, twist, cross, twist. Then half stitch this time through one, two, three, four pairs. Extra twist on my worker, pin up and return to the outside edge. So half stitch through four pairs. Cross stitch and twist through the final pair. Cross, twist, cross, twist. An extra twist on my worker. And tension. Can you see? You may not be able to see. I'm hanging on to my worker as I tension the remaining re, remaining pairs. Release that temporary pin and drop down. So this we now have all the pairs in to complete our fan. So we're going to carry on to the bottom of the fan, but this time we're going to leave a pair out on the right hand side each time. So. For my first row, I'm going to work cross stitch and twist through the first pair, and then I'm going to work through the next three passives, leaving the fourth one behind. So picking up my worker, cross, twist, cross, twist, half stitch through the next three, extra twist on my worker, and pin in the next pin. Coming back, half stitch through three, cross stitch and twist through the edge pair, extra twist on my worker and pin. Tension up, and return. This time I'm going to come back to the right through two half stitch pairs and the one cloth stitch and twist, leaving this third one out. So cloth stitch and twist, then half stitch, half stitch, extra twist on the worker and pin. Returning to the outside, half stitch, half stitch, Cloth stitch and twist with the final pair. Extra twist on the worker and pin. Returning to the right, leaving another passive out. Cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair. Half stitch through this passive. Extra twist on the worker and pin. Coming back to the outside edge. Half stitch through one passive, cross stitch and twist, extra twist on the worker and pin. And then to finish off our fan, cross stitch and twist through the edge pair, extra twist on the worker and pin. I'm going to leave that open for the moment and we'll come back to that in a minute. So we now have one, two, three, four pairs coming out of the right hand side of our fan and we have our worker and edge pair over here to the left. We don't need those for the moment. We're now going to add in pairs to work the spider. So I'm going to put some more temporary pins up. That's one, two, three, four. And these are above the right hand line of the spider and I'm going to hang a new pair on each of those. So 
So before I work my spider, I need to work the line of ground here and the line of ground here, which is four pinholes in each direction. And I'm going to work the ground in half stitch, pin half stitch. So I'm going to take the first pair from the left and the first pair from the right. I'm going to work half stitch, place a pin between the two pairs and then half stitch to close the pin. Then I'm going to take out this support pin and let the left hand pair drop down. I'm going to keep working with this left hand pair down the left hand side through the next three pin holes. So half stitch, pin between and half stitch to close. Half stitch, pin between and half stitch to close. Half stitch, pin between and half stitch to close. So now I have this pair here worked through one, two, three, four. This top pair, the fourth pair, is now going to work down the right hand line of ground through the remaining three pairs. Again, half stitch, pin between the pairs and half stitch to close. Half stitch, pin between the pairs, half stitch to close. Half stitch, pin between the pairs and half stitch to close. I'm now going to take out these temporary support pins and let the pairs drop down onto the pins. Now we're ready to work our spider. The spider will use two pairs from either side. So if we look at the spider, I'm going to take the two pairs from the left and the two pairs from the right. Each of these pairs has currently got one twist. As a general rule of thumb with spiders, the number of twists on the pairs relates to the number of legs it has on either side. So in this one, we have two legs on the left and two legs on the right. So we should have two twists on each of our spider's legs. Because they're coming out of the ground, they already have one twist. So I'm going to put one more twist on each of these spiders legs. Okay, now we need to work the spider. To do this, we're going to work the two left hand pairs through the two right hand pairs in cloth stitch. So if we number the positions, one, two, three, four, we're going to cloth stitch pair two through pairs three and four. Cloth stitch. Now I'm going to cloth stitch pair one through what were pairs three and four. So now we have both pairs from the left cloth stitched through both pairs from the right. That's half our spider complete and we need to place the pin in the middle and tension the pairs up so they sit nicely round the pin. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing again and I'm going to take pair number two through three and four and then pair number one through pairs three and four. Cloth stitch pair number two through three and four and then come back and take pair number one through three and four and there's the body of our spider. To finish off I'm going to put another two twists on each of the legs. Now we need to complete the last two bits of ground that surround the spider. And that's these pinholes here and these pinholes here. So to start with, 
I'm going to take the next pair from the left and I'm going to take it through the first two pairs in half stitch, pin half stitch, half stitch, pin between, half stitch, half stitch, pin between and half stitch. Leaving those there for the moment, I'm going to come along to the right and with this pin here, pair here, I'm going to work this through the next three pairs to the left to complete these three pin holes. So half stitch, pin, half stitch, half stitch, pin, half stitch, and half stitch, pin, half stitch. And that's our spider complete. Moving these pairs on the left hand side of the spider out of the way and then moving these pairs round, we're now going to look at the last section to add in and that's for the ground, the foot side passive and the edge pair. So first of all I'm going to make an extra pin hole between this pin and this pin and I'm going to hang my new foot side passive on there. I'm also going to put a temporary support pin in the pin behind it for our last remaining ground pair. So I'm going to hang a pair on that pin here, I've taken that foot side pair out, pin out for the moment. And I'm going to work this pair of ground. So half stitch, pin, half stitch. And I'm going to bring this left hand pair down through the next three pins in ground. Half stitch, pin, half stitch, half stitch, pin, half stitch and half stitch, pin, half stitch. I'm going to take out my temporary pin and tension that down. Now I'm going to pop my pin back in for my foot side pair and hang a pair on there. And then I'm going to put a pin just to the right here and hang my final pair on there which will be my edge pair. And so this is written in your instructions. And we start with the edge pair, taking the third pin pair in from the edge. So this is our edge pair, this is our foot side pair, and this is our third pair. So we're going to work cloth stitch and twist through the foot side passive pair. Cross twist, cross twist. Now normally we would work cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair but because this is the first one I'm just going to work this as a ground stitch. This makes it easier when we come to finish off. So I'm going to do half stitch, pin, half stitch and I'm going to add an extra twist on the outside pair take my temporary pin out. Then leaving the edge pair behind I'm going to take the next pair in and come back through the foot side passive in cloth stitch and twist. So cross, twist, cross, twist. Then this pair can work down the line of ground to the left. So taking the first pair, half stitch, pin, Half stitch, half stitch, pin, half stitch, half stitch, pin, half stitch. And then I'll work each in turn down through the ground. So again, coming back to the left hand side, I'm going to take the third pair in and I'm going to 
work cloth stitch and twist through the foot side passive and this time and this is how you'll do it on all subsequent occasions i'm going to work cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair with an extra twist on the worker and i'm going to pin underneath both of those pairs tension up leave this pair behind and come back with the inner pair in cloth stitch and twist through the foot side passive and then in this occasion i'm going to come through this one and this one so the next two ground stitches half stitch pin half stitch half stitch pin half stitch again i'm as far as i can go there so i'm going to come back to the right hand side take the third pair in one two three work the third pair through to the edge in cloth stitch and twist through the foot side passive in cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair extra twist on the worker pin under both the edge pair and the worker and tension up this pair stays on the outside edge this one is now the worker coming back and cloth stitch and twist back through the foot side passive and then we have one lot of ground here half stitch pin half stitch then to take the third pair in and again once more work it out to the edge cloth stitch and twist through that passive cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair extra twist on the worker pin under two and back in cloth stitch and twist through the foot side passive and that's the first pattern repeat done if i come back to the left hand side we're ready to then start the next fan keeping all the pairs in order so they don't get jumbled now i left the fan open around the bottom pin so now I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to pick the right hand pair up as the worker. Cloth stitch and twist. Extra twist on the worker and pin. Then I can carry on with this pair as the worker to complete the first fan, the next fan. Watch through the video again and again. Any questions, then drop me an email or a text. Um, and I'll come back later when I get to the corner. I shall turn the corner and then I shall show you a couple of variations or another variation of how you can work this pattern to change it up a little bit.